In this video, I want to show you guys step by step exactly how you can trade the financial markets profitably. Okay, let's just jump straight in. I don't want to waste any time here. This is GBPNZD on the weekly time frame. Okay, this can be traded on any asset class, crypto, stocks, forex, you name it. This can be traded on that on that asset. Let's just jump straight in. What I first want you guys to apply to your chart is the fractal indicator. Okay, so this is the weekly time frame. And to add the indicator to your chart, head over to the indicators tab at the top here, indicators, and then type in fractals. Okay, it's this one here by Rachel underscore T. Add that to your chart and add that to your favorites. Okay, now that you've added that to your chart, the fractals will show up. And these are the key liquidity areas within the markets. So these are showing you where buyers and sellers are stepping into the market. Okay, this is our most recent high fractal. So we can mark that on with a horizontal line. Let's mark that on there. You can see that comes in at 2.11750. That's the horizontal line. And that's where the sellers most recently stepped into the markets. So now that we've identified our swing point on the high there, we can then go ahead and mark on the most recent fractal low, which is this one here. Okay, that one comes in at 2.03650. Okay, so now that we've added our most recent high and low on the charts, we can then drop to the daily time frame. So mark that on on the weekly. Now we can drop to the daily. Okay, now that we've seen that, we can identify our key levels, and these are the areas of interest that we're looking to trade out of. Okay. So these are the extremes of the ranges that we're going to be trading from. Okay, this is your range high. This is your range low. Keep it very, very simple. Okay, so if and only if price comes into this area and we look for our entry schematic, then we can look to trade this back to the downside. Okay, so let's just play price on and talk you guys through exactly what we're looking for within the markets. Okay, so price has approached our level. And prices came slightly above the area here and rejected this area. Okay. So this tells us as traders that, okay, buyers tried to step into this market. However, there's been a depletion of bullish pressure within this market. And therefore, now price is more likely to push back to the downside. Okay. So essentially, buyers have uh, tried to push price to the upside. We've deviated this level here essentially manipulating these traders out of the trades. Okay, and now we're closing back below this level. So the fact that we're closing back below, we can then look for a retest of this area, and then we can look to take this short. Okay, so let's put our order in the market. Order goes just on this zone here. We have a clear invalidation level. So if price then pushes back to the upside, uh, you know, above this key level, then we'll be, we'll want to cut this trade and we will we'll be stopped out. Okay. So we have clear invalidation and let's look at targets. Okay. So taking a one to two as a mechanical approach is very, very favorable, you know, in and out of the markets, banking your profits and then moving on to the next trade. Okay. So let's play this on. You can see that we are triggered within this trade here. We're triggered in the market here. Um, price did continue to push to the upside slightly, but you know, as I said, you need to stop just above this area to give price a little bit of room to breathe. And now let's play this trade on. Okay. So you can see this trade smashes a one to two take profit and ultimately sweeps this lower liquidity down at the lows here on the daily time frame. Okay. So it's up to yourself how you want to trail stops, how you want to take profit. But taking profit off the table at about a one to two, one to three is very, very sensible and banking them profits. Okay. So that's a very, very simple short trade. We have our key level identified. We have seen a deviation, a reclaim, and we've seen the depletion of the bullish pressure within this market. That indicates that, you know, we may have a reversal. We've got a very significant stop loss, um, you know, an invalidation, a very mechanical invalidation level. And then we're looking to target one to two, one to three. Um, in and out of the market. Okay, so we've used a weekly fractal here to identify the most recent swing high. We're looking for that to be manipulated, deviated, and then we can look to trade that back to the downside.
So it's, we're literally just trading ranges. However, we're waiting for this deviation and reclaim to give our confirmation, okay? Guys, you don't want to be sh sort of blindly shorting off this area. You want to see this deviation and reclaim, and then we can look to trade that back to the downside, okay? So very, very simple setup here, and this pattern repeats itself across all time frames, across all at asset classes, and it is a very, very profitable strategy, okay? So thanks for your time on this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.